So this question is a diagram question, at least it seems to be from the beginning. We have these two triangles that are provided. I like to look at the diagrams or the shapes in this case before getting started, just to make sure I understand if there's anything weird going on. So it seems pretty straightforward. I have two triangles. One of these triangles has all three side lengths provided. Another triangle only has one. Um, so let's read the question and see what else we can figure out. So the question says, in the figure below, where triangle ABC is similar to triangle KLM. So that's a lot of information in and of itself, because in order for these two triangles to be similar, that means that the corresponding side lengths must be proportional. And I can always use that fact in order to find missing side lengths. So I'm going to do that because I like to find anything from my shape that's missing. So like A, B, and B, C, I want to find. So what do I mean by proportional corresponding sides? So side A, C over here is 3. Side K, M over here is 7.5. Because these two triangles are similar, that means that the ratio of 3 to 7.5 should be equal to the ratio of, let's say, x for side AB to 12.5, right, which is the corresponding side to x, right? They are both on top, right, the top side of the triangle. So I can solve for x by cross-multiplying here. So I get 7.5x is equal to... 3 times 12.5, which is 37.5. So 7.5x equals 37.5. And then I can divide both sides by 7.5 so that I have x equals 5. So now I know that this side here is 5. Now I'm going to do the same thing for side BC. I'm going to call it Y. And I know that its corresponding side is this 15 here. So once again, I'm going to set up a proportion and say, well, that same 3 over 7.5 relationship should be equal to Y divided by 15. So now when I cross multiply here, I have 7.5Y is equal to 3 times 15 which is 45. I can divide both sides by 7.5. Go to my calculator and see, well, what is 45 divided by 7.5? And what I get is 6, so y equals 6. So that means that here is 6. All right, so what's the rest of this question say? So what is the perimeter in centimeters of triangle ABC? Well, first of all, just make sure the units are good. It does say that all the numbers given are centimeters, so we're good there. I don't have to convert from meters or some other, some other unit of measurement. So the perimeter of a shape is just the sum of all of its sides or its external sides. So I just have 3 plus 5, which is 8, plus 6, which is 14. And therefore, the perimeter of triangle ABC is equal to 14.